this rear end uh, coming together slowly. Uh, what I think, uh, this is the last little thing we're gonna put in here and then it's probably done with welding for this time. Uh, at least at the end of the car. So I'm gonna adjust this thing to match here. I'm just gonna adjust it and fine tune it and uh, weld it in there. Already had some rust protection in there and in there. Um, yeah, so this one goes in today. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, clean it up a little bit in the rear there, so. So after a ferocious amount of uh, cutting, measuring, cutting and measuring, it's sitting there. Uh, that was pretty... That was pretty tight. Uh, I made it too big, of course, because you always have to be, make things bigger so you can adjust it. But uh, this put it up a lot of fight, actually. But something like that. So we can close the case. Let's weld it. So I've done some... Uh, see if I can get some, some light there. Yeah, I... Put it in there, uh, and I just dusted in some black paint that I'm gonna use underneath all of the whole entire car. Uh, on the spray can, they uh, claim that this paint will be good over any surface. Uh, uh, you don't need any primer, so okay, what the heck? I just put it on there. Uh, then we need to seal all these rough edges, but uh, uh, this is just as good as anything. So. Uh, this uh, thing set for a week now in uh, brake fluid. Uh, and I don't know if I'm just ridiculous here now, but uh, I'm planning to reuse this one. Uh, I know that uh, newly uh, fabricated rubber parts are not that good quality that, uh, as those old ones and this isn't a uh, totally gone it's actually pretty fine so i'm gonna use that one at least try using it see what happens and if it doesn't work just order a new one but uh, i'm gonna order new ones uh two new ones so i have uh, uh let's see now uh, this is the upper one uh, this is the upper one where it rests when the car is sunken down, I think. Now wait, which side are we? This this is this is left side. Yeah, well, probably need to do something here. Uh, let's wait. D D D. One one-handed stupidity. Let's see if I can just. Okay. Sits like this in a car. No. Focus. Uh, sits like this in a car. Left side. Uh, when sunken down, it's of course it of course goes up. And that is what of course that is the one that it, it's resting on when resting in the lowest position. So this is where that one should sit because I, I want to use this old one that I presume is in better quality than the newly uh, fabricated ones and then we can have a new one there because you very seldom have the car put in highest position that's that that's my idea so I actually managed to put this one back there with one hand. Hmm, strange. Well, there it is. Uh, do, 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 do. What, what, what prevents me now from putting this back again is that I haven't sprayed any uh, rust protection go in this box section. And when this, is, when this isn't mounted, 
I have better access to do that because that so that's why I haven't done it like this I, I want to go in here and just spray around here uh, it's not a big section because it's a wall just around the corner here but I want to I want to get it in here So let's have a look at the presumed work for today. Uh, uh, this is just crap. See here. Uh, that's the continuation of this work. So uh, today I just wanted to tidy up here, see how much I have to. Uh, cut away uh, in order to fix this uh, so let's see here it's probably probably gone here too so can't expect this to be just a bolt on uh, work uh, I also just remembered when removing the front fender that this is crap uh, I think it's crap down here too, otherwise it would be pretty easy to just fabricate this little steel part and, and uh, repair it, but I have a feeling that this is just rubbish. I think, I don't know, let's forget about that so far and concentrate on this little thing. Uh, this entire steel part here, possible to, to buy ready part just weld in, uh, yeah, uh, but in fact it's just, it's just flat steel sheets, so we're fabricating that, uh, and then we have this little part, it's a, it's an own, uh, it's an own part here, uh, squarish thing uh, also very easy to fabricate then we'll see what we're gonna do with this crap over over neat here I know. this is just rubbish but looks okay no there is a hole there is a hole so this is probably just something we need to fix too yeah okay let's hit it So I uh, wire wheeled it up here uh, just to determine where's the spot welds and uh, this part here seems okay, this, this seems okay, uh, 
clearly has been going on some repairing here during the years. So this is poo. This is poo. Probably we're just gonna cut it off here, S trying to save the the thing in in back there uh, behind it. Uh, I don't know, uh, but my idea is to drill out these spot welds, uh, and when the new port is ready to go slide it underneath there and then spot weld it in these old holes rather doing that than uh, just just butt weld everything on here uh, we're never gonna look at this anyway so it doesn't matter uh, from a from a uh, aesthetical uh, uh, way of seeing it but doesn't matter I want to do it as good as I can uh, then is the big question am I gonna use this anyway I don't think so this is just a jack stand or um, it's not for it's not for the it's not for jacking up the car uh, cuz that one is underneath there and uh, usually when I, I'm jacking up a car, I'm using the front subframe or the front frame, like I've done there. So using this as a lifting point, uh, no, I don't, see, I don't see why. So probably I just do a, I just do a cover here, a steel, a steel piece. Yeah. Uh, Let's tidy this rubbish up. This drill seems to be gone. Well, that's more like it, but we have one, two, probably three, four more spot welds up there. So it's following that edge, edge, following that edge all the way up here. And what I want to do is to cut it uh, there. So we're going to drill out these welds too. Let's see if this drill can manage that. I always have to change the drill. Nice not to ruin it. <sighs> yeah, that was the right size of drill. The other one was too small. There is another one there, but it's over the edge of this steel but feels like that one would be just okay then we have one here spot welds everywhere how many spot welds are there in a ds
uh, can't see any more welds uh, underneath here so they surely welded this part with this on oh yeah. sorry uh, they probably welded this one together with this one on there because there is no other welds as I can see underneath here so it's probably the same welds uh, so let's drill them out so we can open up this base here it seems to be just one weld up there uh, there is this little strange little spot there maybe we have to weld out that one too but it's so on the edge there so yeah and then we see that this is slightly bent and there too it's folded uh, yeah hammering hammering So the other day I was talking about rust protection and as you can see in here it's only this see if I can focus today uh, there is only this gray greenish paint on the inside of every surface that's the only rust protection this car got from factory so no, no wonder we have this in there. Wow, yeah, it's pretty ferocious. So we just tidy it up a little, a little bit, straighten it out a little bit. Um, something like ow that was a sharp edge there and I'm working without gloves because I'm stupid but this is the something something like that is the original 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 position for this so cleaning out those surfaces here that seems pretty rigid. If we're lucky, it just continues down here. So we can use that one. Uh, there is a little hole in there. You see my finger through there. Cut out that and, and weld it. But hopefully, the bottom of the floor here are okay. Then we have a slightly little, little issue here yeah that, that now it's visible there but the bottom seems pretty solid so we could probably just just uh, repair it okay but now it's time for lunch mm -hmm. 